Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunterman, and this is Stellaris with the Nemesis DLC installed. So, I was looking around the map. This is what the galaxy currently looks like. As you can see, up above there is the Sexerlupian uh, Interstellar Empire, or Union, I'm sorry. What do we call ourselves this time? Galactic Union. Sorry. The Sexerlupian, Sexarian Galactic Empire, Union. Damn it. It's had a couple of names over these many years, and I keep messing it up. So, okay, in any event, most importantly for our current situation is I am I have got the the eventual Marauder Empire here to the left, which is a big problem, right? They are hefty. Uh, I feel like they're not as strong as they used to be. I'm looking at 7 and 10 and 7 and 10K, and I'm used to those being like 15s and 20s and 30s. Maybe I misremember. Um, over here to our east, our Galactic East, the Reub League, who we've got pretty good relations with, and who are we are doing spy stuff with to make sure we can keep good relations with, maybe undermine them a little bit. Um, oh hey, I've got enough that I can do the next thing. We don't want to do any of these negative things, but we do, if possible, want to be acquiring assets. So we do want to be acquiring assets. These assets each give us, like, maximum infiltration level increase, and they give us bonuses. So if we need to do anything with these guys, because we might, we might steal technology. That's always possible. In fact, that's probably what we'll do in the next sitting, or rather the next go against those guys. Up here, we got the... Uh, and Adnoran Regime, which uh, we have gotten a setback on our um, um, our work with their go going after spy stuff on them, because um, our guys found out from all the information that they had, they were able to utilize it to basically buy into their, uh, their the economy, and buying into the economy made them a bunch of money, and they decided not to be spy network for us. Now, I didn't know that at the time. One of those new things I'm learning, which is if I had had managed a, a commercial pact with them, that we could have started taking percentages away from their economy, which would have been really cool. Or giving us a straight benefit. Not sure which one, but it's still a good thing. Um, I have determined looking at the map. I'm interested in the... Oh, I don't know if I have anybody looking into the Omicron aliens, do I? I think I do. No, I don't. Alright, let's look into the Omicron aliens over here. Because it would be good to have even more allies on this. Crystal Drosser. And then we've got... The, these guys, who are basically the opposite of us in every way, and are probably not going to be good friends with us. Oh wait, they're at war? They're at war! Oh, we don't know what their planet is. That's actually a question mark planet. So, it looks like these guys might possibly be an advanced start. One of the things I love about this new DLC is not knowing exactly how your neighbors are rocking out. So that's pretty cool. Do we have anybody that has a desert world? What, what is you guys' world? I don't know what kind of world you have. That looks like a water world, but that might not be the right icon. Their fleets are overwhelming. Our intel about the fleet may be outdated. That's true, they are going to war. Hold on, what was that icon? Hold on, wait. Did you guys see that in the top right? What is this? Oh, what? You can flick through the democratic window. Up oh, this that's just used to be like arrows, right? Now it's a drop-down menu. That's kind of cool. So, these guys over here are superior power- so, yeah, okay. So, confirmed I'm behind in power. So, um... Alright. I need to start upgrading all of my stuff. I have a good amount of... Mm, alloys? Really? I got a good amount of alloys. Let's check out our ship designer really quick. We haven't done this while I was sleeping. Um, I 
We got regenerative hull on. We have auto upgraded off. Wait, what? Auto design takes control of upgrading and changes ships. So do I not have that? Cannot make changes. Oh. I will call this... Uh... Laser focus. This ship design does not have enough power. Oh, okay. Never mind. Alright, we are behind on military. That is our current concern. We will get overwhelmed by everything. So we are changing the direction that we're going for upgrades, right? Previously, what I said was that we were going for all research all the time, and we are still going to do heavy research, but when the opportunity arises now to pull up uh, military uh, improvements for our ships, we're going to be going for it. It looks like next on the docket is we're going to be needing the um, um, energy cores. Um, we're kind of behind on minerals. We're kind of up on energy, so I don't need to build those other energy things. Let's check out our planets really quick. This is the uh, beginning of the recap, if you will, from I was asleep before, so... I have a governor who's available and not assigned. That's messed up. What do you even do? Food from f production type things. Okay. Okay, so I have no jobs here on the Empire Capital. That's not good. I guess... I need more minerals? I don't feel like I'm generating them fast enough. Okay, I need 300 to be able to do that, so we're going to definitely think about that. Um, you guys also need... Oh, okay, so yeah, I'm having a mineral problem because I'm low on minerals. Low on minerals means I'm low on alloys. Low on alloys means I'm low on uh, military stuff. I've got that planetary administration upgrading, so that'll cure that. So basically, I need these first two. Arcadia and Sexar both need upgrade stuff. So we are unpausing. We're going to go pretty fast. Research complete. Okay, I know what that was because I just saw the FDL inhibitors all come online. So FDL inhibitors, for anybody who doesn't recall or is new to this... Um, they make it so that whenever a, an enemy force comes into a system by way of its jump gates, like these at the corners, that they cannot leave through any gate other than the one they entered with until they deal with your star base. So that now means I have the potential to bulwark. So, I have the ability to make thicker star bases, and I'm going to be doing that. Uh, my listening post is letting me, like, listen in on what they got going on. And... I might... I might need to build a crew quarters at some point, but we're gonna leave that for V. Let's see what else we got. Okay, there we need... The power core immediately sounds good. To get out of here, we might want to start putting some time periodically into gateway activation. And chemical plants would not be bad. But right now we're missing out on energy, which we do need. Let's see if we got anybody who knows lasers, which we do. You want to make sure, if possible, that you can get people who are actually of the research variety to be able to get on it. Uh, you just have a flat research speed. Come over here to the science ships and fill every science ship that doesn't have a dude actually on it. These are all doing assisted research back at the various planets I have. So we are doing research, research, research. Wait, that's a 5% research speed? Uh, I think I'm good on everything. That's a 5, that's a 5, that's a 10. So you match up these with their icons to get higher percentages, expertise in particles, that's a whole thing. Okay. Um... What does my auto-generated ship designer look like for my defensive platforms? Uh, let's turn up the auto-upgrade. Let's get more sh lasers. Hmm. 
Okay. Pertinis pertinicity? I'm gonna go with defense like I normally do. Alright, we're gonna start building up this. I'm expecting we might be able to turn things around and get them okay, but... Alright, unpausing. We gotta get our minerals up to 300 before we can expand over on Sexar. Alright, what do we got here? Operative Spooked. Despite having taken every precaution prescribed in their training, one of our operatives in the Ryub League has raised concerns that their cover may be blown. Apparently, this comes at a critical time for the Acquire Asset. As such, Spymaster Francesco requests more resources which might be prevent dis disruptions further down the line. You shall have extra resources I don't have the option for. Infiltration changes by negative 10. Available spy power is greater than or equal to 10. Oh no, so I I didn't realize I needed to have spy power around to flaunt spy power. I guess that makes sense. Such risks are nominal denied. Perhaps bribery would be more effective? Perhaps bribery would be more effective. We'll see how that goes. I'm okay taking that hit on money right now. Alright, meanwhile up at the Regime, short list of targets have been drawn up. Those operatives no longer tasked with surveillance or provide cover. Good. Okay, so we're working on getting ourselves some assets up here. Our relations are improving. Their economy is inferior to ours. Interesting. How are you guys' economy doing to their guys? You are equivalent. Okay, Omicron aliens. Um, upon entering crash, our sensors... Crash? Hmm. Our sensors picked up strange readings. Dismissed at first as glorified asteroids. Uh, whoops, make sure I can see... You guys can see this. Um... The things quickly changed when it was discovered that these entities had to act aggressively towards movement in space, even a great distance. Observation of entities, preferably safe distance, is advised. That's true from afar. Keep it up. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I've got 300 minerals. I'm going to pause really quick, and I'm going to go ahead and get more mineral jobs lined up over here. I will... Oh, hold on. Wait. You've got more minerals over there. So actually, this would be a better place for a lot of minerals. Look at this place. I am about to have a population growth situation, though. Um... We go for even more. Oh, you know what? I mean, I need administrative buildings, don't I? Construction complete. First contact, new stuff. Man, just so many things are happening here at the start here. Administrative offices. Yeah, we're gonna need administrative offices because that's what I haven't been doing as far as like keeping our science in check. Spaceborne amoeboids. Uh, the entities encountered by our fleet some time ago are new wondrous forms of spaceborne life. Quickly named Space Amoeboid. Following an, an, an Alice gross misreading of the initial sensor output, the creature is in fact larger than the average Sexarian Corvette. We should leave it and remotely monitor the creature. Easy prey, fascinating creatures, or we can coexist. Um... We can have pacification, or we can have... Let's we can coexist. They can talk and they want to talk to us. I don't I don't think that's them talking to us. Okay, so we went for the we went for that. So wait, does that mean that we have an envoy free? We do. Let's check out these Edda aliens over here.
We should also really get into genetics. Edit aliens? We discovered a new life form in Sargas. Although calling it a life form may be incorrect, the entities will be fully automated mechanical drones built exclusively for some unknown industrial purpose. Observations will continue, but since it is likely that the machines are programmed with defensive protocols, it would be prudent to tread lightly. Keep looking, looking, but to be cautious. Uh, more espionage. Our spotters have begun infiltrating, ingratiating themselves with targets we've marked as potentially useful. This is in the Ryu League. Cool. Alright. Constantly having things pop up and doing them. Feeling pretty good. Let me make sure I'm sending these ships home so that they're not... Make sure there's nothing I'm not doing. Okay. Ancient mining drones. Reports of the deep space drones previously encountered have been investigated closer. The drones appear to be the workers and custodians of an un autonomous orbiting mining operation established millennia ago, and then soon abandoned by all but the drones themselves, judging by the state of the process processing equipment. The drones possess powerful mining lasers and make obviously threatening, if not outright hostile. No choice towards sexual lupian vessels when approached. Uh, they may only be old drones, but they should be kept under close watch by the Sexarian Galactic Union. Ends the first contact procedure. They can talk, and they want to talk to us. Okay. So, these, some guys in here are like red to us? Okay. Is that the edge of the same Provo? Oh, geez. Yeah, probably might be an advanced start, but they're not technically next to me. Let's... You're not actively harming our relations, so I'm going to send somebody over here to improve relations with you. How are our relations doing over here, guy? Would you like a non-aggression pact? I don't really feel like I need to get aggressive with you. They agreed. I have non-aggression packs with my neighbors. Awesome. Well, except for the marauders to my left. As the operation nears its conclusion, Spymaster Nadia uh, Tur Turgeneva has moved to secure the, our new asset with the Andorian regime. Our remaining operatives are poised to facilitate any cover she may need. Commence operation. Oops. Reports a successful execution so far. We have lured an un- Underappreciated member of Adnorian citizenry whose attitude and contacts among various lower rungs of society are sure to add to operations in various ways. Cool. Asset acquired. Okay, so now we've got. Ooh, we've got a negative asset. An injured war veteran that was lost in the wheels of bureaucracy. We came to their aid. Okay, so that increases our. Um, okay, so we're going to have to do that periodically. Go get assets. I'm keeping an eye on it. I think that's what we're trying to do over here right now. Yeah. But the trick is, I need to make sure that some of this bar that remains is actually, um... Research complete. Usable. Research complete. Okay, we got fusion reactors. Cool. We can have more powerful ships. Experimental subspace navigation would be neat, but we need to... We're, if we're going to do anything like that, we're going to do gateway. But we've also got applied quantum physics, so we can get more research. Now, this is not the same thing as particles, so let's see if we got anybody else who's got, like, a flat... You're currently researching society. We're going to swap you out because you're given a 5% as opposed to a nothing. All right. We will have all of the research speeds, which reminds me, do I have the, I do have the minerals. Let's go for bureaucracy. Oh, I'm having migration. Oh, wait, hold on. You guys are automatically migrating. That's cool. Is that that would explain why jobs are getting close on other planets? 
That's listed as a mining world. That is listed as an agri world, but it has more mines. Okay, well let's let's do okay, let's do this at the first next opportunity. You basically it's unlikely to ever have too many minerals, basically. And once we get that uh, administration uh, job unlocked on the home world, then we'll be able to expand our... Man, they're just keeping stuff happening. Narrowing the field. Short list of targets drawn up. Cool. Let's see here. Oh, we have a specialist job that is unemployed. What is your specialist? Unemployed colonist. Oh, I don't have any city to shit. Okay, let's spend a little money. Because we're also out of homes over here. So, we put in a clerk job, and then I guess I'll put in a research location. Ooh, ooh what's this? Our stability is decreasing. The lesser evil, happiness, negative, but population growth speed plus 20%. Interesting. You've got a refinery job on you. Wait, does that mean I'm getting... Where are my special... Where are my special things? Oh, here? Research wow, look, complete. exotic gases are going up. Research complete. Our research to have more research is complete. Uh, Let's go for exotic gas refineries. As much as I should get... Well, hold on. Mm, I can get that anytime. Let's get the mining. Definitely should have gone for the armor, but I'm trying to grow the economy at this point. Research oh, oh. Complete. These guys are about to get absolutely ganked. I don't see any of their planets left. Yeah, we've got a naval capacity increase, but... Alright, administration capacity increase is good, too. Some place with an alien zoo is happening. Planetary capital would be really good to have. If we improve our administrative capacity, though, we can keep our science experience trouble in check. Because the higher your um, your empire sprawl, the, the more it costs percentage-wise time to do stuff. Operation nears its conclusion. Spymaster Francesco has moved to secure a new asset. Our remaining operatives are poised to facilitate any cover he may need. Cool. We won a loyal loyalty of a Ryub rebel whose desire for disruptive change may easily mold it to suit our goals as well. Excellent. Alright, we got more Ryub. Playing this espionage game and enjoying it, but that is like a negative counter asset? Agitator. Scientist. Scientist. Interesting. Peace offer. Made peace with the- Oh no, the guys are just sacked. Look at that. Oh no, they're not. They still got stuff up there. Well, I'm glad I'm making progress on- Oh no, now they're trying to harm our relations. Do I have anybody left who can improve relations over here? Busy building a spy network, busy improving relations. Do we need to have improved relations? We are friendly. I think we can risk not improving relations over here. Let's get, let's get some spies going on over here. We'll change it later if it ends up being a problem. But clearly we're about to have new neighbors to the north, so we got to keep an eye on that. Handshake oh. protocols activated. Handshake protocols. Um, 
Oh, we do have alloy factories. Cool. I wasn't sure about that earlier. Oh, we gotta have planetary administration first. We got enough jobs over here. Oh, no, we don't. We need specialist jobs. Build another administrative office? Nope. Alright. What's our research agreement? We Oh, good. It tells us now. We can learn that much science from them, and they can learn that much science from us. Yes. Since you guys are in a weaker position... What do you say? That's probably about even, right? You're real happy we have a non-aggression pack, but I need to start fortifying this starbase a little bit more. Handshake protocols activated. District's mandate fulfilled. Cool. Get some unity for that. Defensive pack invitation. No. You're gonna get attacked. I'm gonna get attacked too. We're all gonna get attacked. Everything's gonna get attacked. Got to keep those minerals on the uptick. Oh, I just realized that this... Oh, no, that's unemployed pops. We don't have enough amenities here. Oh, abandoned terraforming project. If there was anybody watching in the chat, I'd ask you guys, what do you think about this abandoned terraforming project? But you know what? <sighs> you don't want to do it when the you don't want to do it when the planet is young. So I definitely didn't want to do it earlier, and I definitely still think it's a bad idea. But Abandoned terraforming project. Take 24... Eep. Okay, that's a moth. That is not a regular, like, bug on the wall. That is a moth. Hmm. It's just making those people real unhappy. Do we want to push through it? Reduction of food jobs on the mining world... But a lower 10% happiness? But what if it kills everyone? Then everybody will be real unhappy. What's our population at? Six. What is our current society research? Administrative capacity. It would take two years to possibly kill everyone. You know what? I think we're just going to live with it for the moment. We are growing a little fast, though. What if I should go ahead and colonize this other world? No, best we can get is a 40% chance. Let's check our... Espionage... Okay. You guys have a Tundra world. Do we know what you guys have yet? Do you have, like, literally this one planet? You are Ocean World. Continental World? Can we get a migration treaty with you guys? <clears throat> migration treaty. Maybe? Migration treaty. Okay, that brings this habitability up to 60%. Not terrible. 
And it's a size 17 world. Wait, what's that? What's on the planet? Unstable tectonics. And... Hazardous weather. Plus from energy... Okay. So we will make this... Um... We'll make this a technology, a, a science and energy location. We're going to colonize with these guys. Yeah, we're going to, we want to expand. Um, this will be Gohan. Even though I haven't seen Gohan in a while, it'll be Gohan. got traditions going on. Base trade production for trade routes increased by 5. Market fee. Branch office built on our worlds have plus 1 building slots. Base protection for trade. Because we're about to have trade issues. Actually, how is our trade currently doing? 0, 0, 49, 40, okay. Oh, Enim is where I've got the one trade thing set up, so... Okay. Storage bin is full? Oh, we've got enough influence. We're gonna go with the Land of Opportunity, as we often do. Uh, this will increase our immigration pull by 100% and our population growth from immigration by 25%. Which is good because we're about to make a world in which people who don't live in our current culture will be able to go into. And on that note, I think, probably for the people watching later on YouTube, I should thank for watching because this has been a little bit of time, like a half an hour or so. So, we just set that up. We're going to continue going forward from here. Um... This has been Stellaris with the Nemesis DLC installed. I have been Hunter Munn, and I will see you in the future.